Hi, I am Dr. Ankur Gupta and I am uh, with Medanta Institute of Liver Transplantation and Regenerative Medicine. I am here to talk about immunomodulation or the desensitization that we do for success of ABO incompatible liver transplants. With these therapies, we want to decrease the level of antibodies that are there in the recipients to a certain level where you know they don't reject the grafts and then to keep the level of these antibodies uh, from getting higher or preventing development of new antibodies for the initial part of uh, a post transplant period so that the graft uh, sets in and the rejection is not there. Three weeks before the transplant we start off with a drug called rituximab infusion and with that drug we try to decrease the levels of CD20 uh, cells and uh, once these uh, cells are reduced uh, to a certain extent then in the last week before transplant, we will uh, go ahead and reduce the level of antibodies that are in there using special form of dialysis called uh, plasmapheresis or sometimes immunoadsorption or cascade plasmapheresis. Once our goal levels are reached, we go ahead with transplant and uh, post-transplant, we carefully monitor the levels of antibodies and these cells so that for the initial, uh, uh, maybe a couple of months or initial few, initial few months after transplant, the levels of these antibodies and cells are low and that way once this critical period is over the outcomes of ABO incompatible and ABO compatible liver transplants are comparable.